Okay, gang, let's roll and welcome back to Analyzing the Universe. Now it is time for us to get our handy dandy nifty piece of software that will allow us to explore the X ray universe in depth. The name of this piece of software is DS9 and it was developed by the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory to analyze X-ray and other types of astronomical objects. It really is a neat program and I'm sure you're going to enjoy using it. I often think of this program as being something like a Photoshop on steroids. It is also free, which is really nice, and you can get it in the following manner. Downloading DS9 is really a snap, and that's what we're going to do next. All you have to do is go to this website, and if you don't want to take the whole thing down uh, by hand, probably the easier thing to do is just go into Google and enter SAO DS9 and the search will take you to the same place. In fact, this is the screen that you're going to see if you Google SAO DS9 and you're going to head to the download page. Once you get to the download page you'll see a page that looks like this. Depending on what version of an operating system you have for your computer, you can download the appropriate version of DS9. Over here you see it says Windows 7. It turns out this will work fine for Windows XP. And should you be unfortunate enough to be using this particular version of Windows, namely Windows Vista, it will also work very well for that. For your Mac operating system, even though there are a bunch of possibilities over here, I would recommend that you try downloading this particular version first because Apple, in again its infinite wisdom, decided to eliminate a particular part of their system that would ordinarily be used for the latest versions of DS9. In any event, the functionality between the Mac versions and the Windows versions, and of course, if you're a Linux buff, there it is for you. I'm sure I won't have to tell you any more about how to deal with Linux if you're already using it. Uh, and you will find that the functionality for these particular programs are identical no matter which operating system you choose. After you download DS9, if you launch it, you will see something like this. This is the Windows version, and you'll see a blank screen here in which we're actually going to end up with our astronomical images. And you'll see a menu across the top with various possible things that you can do with DS9 that we will be exploring. The Mac version will look very similar except that all of the entries to the possible analysis sit on top of the screen separate from DS9, which again has the same area that we're going to load images into. And because of the fact that it's disconnected, I have chosen to use the Windows version, which once again keeps everything together as the demonstration example throughout this course. But in any event, you won't have to worry about this uh, because everything is more or less identical. If there are any differences between these two things, uh, I will point them out as we go along. And that's basically all there is to download DS9. 
what I'm going to do in the next short segment is sort of try to whet your appetite for seeing what some of the possibilities are that you can utilize this great program for. And we'll have an extensive, extensive DS9 smorgasbord starting next week. But in the next couple of minutes, I just want to take you through some of the more elementary things that we can do using this program. So get DS9 and get ready to explore some very interesting astronomical objects in our universe.